Um, February's been kind of a bit of a flat month, I think, for favourites. I don't have that many compared to usual, because as you know, I normally ramble on about like a million different favourites, but I don't kind of have that many this month. Um, I've been kind of using mostly the same stuff most days, um, so my favourites haven't changed up that much. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I will just jump in. Um, so my first favourite is actually something which is new to me. Um, I won a competition on the Black Pearl blog um, like a couple of weeks ago, um, and it was to spend £25 at Beauty Chamber. Um, so I picked some stuff. And what the bulk of the money went on was um, an eyeshadow palette by Nev, and it's their Elegantissimi palette. Um, they've all got like, I think they've all got like Italian names because it's an Italian company. But it's this amazing palette which is quite sizable. And they're all like matte shades, well, they're not all matte shades, there's some like pearlescent y kind of slightly shimmery shades like that one and that one. Um, but the pigmentation is like, like ridiculous like this color here espresso i've been working into my crease every day and just like one little bit and there's just like look at that look so much pigmentation it's just crazy so it's an absolutely beautiful palette i'll try and zoom in a bit so you can have a little bit of a better look at the different shades there but they're really 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 pretty so i've been using this pretty much every single day since i got it so that's how much i like it Okay, um, next up, I have rediscovered a blusher which I bought and used a little bit, but I've been using it pretty much every day combined with that, which is the look that I have here. Um, and it is my NARS Orgasm blusher, which is this one here. And it is just really pretty, it's just a lovely quality. Um, it's quite fine, so you don't need to use too much of the product just to get a nice soft glow. And it is very glowy, it's not too shimmery. There's not too, well, it is shimmery, but there's not like too much glitter in it. I don't like ones that have too much glitter, but n and even though this does look like kind of crazy shimmery, it's when you apply it to your cheeks, it's just really pretty. So I'll just kind of do a little bit of a close up so you can hopefully have a look at the quality of it. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with it anyway because it's kind of one of those items that everybody seems to know about. So that's my cheeks. Um, also for the eyes, I've been really, really liking combining this Nev palette with um, a NYX single eyeshadow. It's a glam shadow in the colour Emotion, which is that one there. And it's, the again, a really pretty shimmery kind of colour. It kind of reminds me of a slightly darker version of Midnight Cowboy Rides Again by Urban Decay, but with much less glitter and much less fallout. Um, so I suppose I'm saying that they're not that similar, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of, and I really like it. Um, so there's that. Um, also, combined with that, has been my NYX, um, like an eyeliner pencil in the colour Jewel, which is... Oh, I love that sound. <laughs> it's a really... My lid keeps falling on the floor. Um, it's a really pretty, like, purpley, shimmery kind of colour. If I just put it on my hand, you can have a look. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I don't know if you can see kind of, like, the glitter and stuff in it. But when you put it on, it just stays put all day. The glitter stays on, it doesn't just kind of fall out from it. Um, and, yeah, the glitter's kind of, like, pinky goldy kind of colour. It's just really beautiful. Um, so I'm just really liking putting this underneath my eye. And it's very, very, very pretty. And as always, you can rely on me having my Chanel Equature Liquid Eyeliner in my favourites because it is awesome. My last one lasted me nearly a year. This is a brand new one. And it's just amazing. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And um, if you like liquid eyeliner um, and you don't use this, you should. <laughs> um, I certainly would um, at least see if you can go to the Chanel counter, maybe get them to put it on you or have a little play with it and see what it feels like because... I like the fact you have so much control over it um, and you can do a lot of fine detail with it and it's just really good, I really like it. And you know that because if you watch my favourites videos regularly you'll know that I, um, I love it. So there we go. And on to foundation. What I've actually been using the most is my Dr. Jart BB cream, my regenerating BB cream. I've pretty much been using this every day. and. I have to say, as well as Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat, which doesn't clog my pores, this doesn't either. I'm wearing it today, and as you can see, like, the colour is, like, it's pretty perfect for me. Um, I've actually started blending it in with a Real Technique stippling brush as well, and I think that actually gives it a better finish. 
Um, however, if I do use a primer with this, then I find that it does crack over like my pores and my fine lines. So I, for me, for my skin type and age, uh, this works best by itself. Um, and I don't, I don't really think like BB creams really need a primer, to be honest. Um, I think they work perfectly fine without it. But that's what I've been using and I really like it. So yay for Dr. Jab. Um, and another one that seems to be in every single one of my videos is my Pericone MD No Concealer Concealer. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't smell great. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not like, ooh, that smells nice. Um, but yeah, you, it's not exactly like you're going to put it under your nose. Um, anyway, <laughs> I use it for under my eye area. And as I've said before, it's got a slight salmon-y colour to it, so it's really good for correcting blue and red under the eye. Um, it's really good at covering blemishes as well, although I do favour my Collection Lasting Perfection concealer for that. Um, so this is just an under the eye concealer for me. And it's just really good. I really like it, but it is expensive. It's £37. But I've been using it for, well, it must be since... October, November, and I've used up, what, it's down to there, so there's tons left, so it lasts really well because you only need a tiny bit. For the eyes, um, well for my lashes, um, I have my Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara, and as well as having a really good formu form formulation, formula, um, I also really like the wand because it really reminds me of the Covergirl Lash Blast, which of course we can't get over here. And this is just, it is really similar. So if I just show you the wand, it's really big and it has like the fine little um, bristles. They're like kind of rubbery bristles. And I just find it grips my lashes really, really well. It coats them really well. It stays put all day. It doesn't give me panda eyes. Bits don't break off and fall down on my face. Um, the only negative is it is a little bit more difficult to remove than your standard mascara because it feels like a waterproof mascara, even though it's not. Um, so yeah, so it just takes just, like, because I use a hot cloth cleanser to remove my makeup, so I just kind of have to just rub my eyelashes gently, um, just for a little bit longer, that's all. So it does come off fine, but it just takes a bit longer. And finally, for hair care, I have two products. I have been using a shampoo and conditioner, and they're not particularly fancy or anything, not, you know, as you know from previous videos, I've been using a lot of Lush products for hair, but with my 100 day spending challenge, in the spirit of that, I've been trying to use for my hair kind of more affordable alternatives, because let's face it, Lush is quite expensive for hair products. I mean, the shampoo and the conditioner I used to use were like £10 each, and that's a lot of money. So <clears throat> I have been buying from the supermarket, and what I've been using, and I find this to be a really nice combination, and it... It must be quite clarifying because it doesn't leave my hair oily, like normally with shampoo and conditioner I find that I'm having to wash my hair pretty much every day and I've been trying to stop doing that and using like Batiste in between just to give my hair a bit of a break. But I find with this one it's, it's pretty good. I've been using the VO5 Revive Me Daily shampoo um, which is, says refresh tired, limp or dull hair for stunning results and it says for normal hair which is the one that I picked up, my husband picked up. Um, and it's been working really good for me. It's got, I didn't realise that, avocado oil, argan oil, apricot oil, grapeseed oil, and jojoba oil. Well, grapeseed oil and argan oil are really amazing for your hair, and I'm sure the others are as well. But I find this has been, like, I've really noticed a difference in my hair and how soft it is and how it doesn't get greasy too quickly. And I know it says revive me daily, so it's designed for daily use. Um, but I've been washing probably every other day, maybe every day sometimes, but definitely an improvement. And the conditioner I've been using to go with that has been the Herbal Essences Ignite My Colour, which is this one here. Smells amazing. It's like so fruity. It reminds me of, oh, what were they called? They were like back in the 90s. There was salon selectives, I think it was. And they were like, you'd, you'd have like a number or letter that like corresponded to your hair type and you'd pick that and it would be like a system where you would just pick those letters and they'd have like I don't know like 10 different letters or whatever um, and the smell really reminds me of them and that was like the Salon Selectives I think were like the first ones that had that like really fruity sweet kind of scent um, and this smells like it too. It says with Moroccan rose and passion fruit extracts for coloured and highlighted hair which obviously mine is coloured. Um, yeah, and it's really good. It's um, very nourishing and leaves my hair feeling lovely and soft afterwards and really good. So they are my favourites. Um, 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and as usual don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you have and I will catch you on the next video but I hope you guys are all having a great day. Bye!